uh, Mr. Beast versus Chris Tyson situation gets worse. The Chris Tyson situation just got so much worse with new serious allegations and over half a million leaked messages from what? the Discord server. That's not only incriminate Chris Tyson, but also raise suspicions on Mr. Beast's level of involvement in their controversy. Hi, I'm the Internet Anarchist. I create weekly YouTube documentaries, and today we'll be looking into the disturbing updates to the Chris Tyson situation. In my last video titled The Satisfying Downfall of Chris Tyson, I covered covered Chris's association and support for the CP drawing artist Shadman, as well as the victims and ex-Mr. Beast employees who came forward sharing their inappropriate experiences with Chris. Little did I know when I uploaded this video was that things were about to get a whole lot worse. With over 500,000 alleged messages being leaked from Chris's old Discord server, as well as extremely serious allegations of assault shared in a statement from her ex. On the 24th of July 2024, user Nathan W, who previously called out Chris for her inappropriate relations with him when he was just 15 years old, would what? post a tweet claiming that he would be releasing an archive containing over half a million messages from her Discord server that would display Chris's alleged strange and not safe work behavior around children. Able Chris Tyson's what? Discord server leaks are getting dropped in a little less than an hour. Now keep in mind, this server was scrubbed clean before it went public, um, and this is the result of after the great cleansing as lava called it later that day <laughs> the, the archive cleansing. would be made public okay. and internet That's users crazy. including myself would begin so to we, scrape the data to okay. find evidence we saw a little bit of the actual stuff i'm assuming this is going to be like a different perspective of the leaks and stuff like that because we did see this video we did see this from uh, uh fuck, i forgot his name but we we, we did see the stuff about the leaks though it was like evidence early for though. or against Chris. Before we read any of these messages, Twitter user Cope and Seath would make a post sharing the alleged ages of the people involved in the conversations, with the estimated age being 14.25, but also going as low as allegedly 11 years old. With that being said, let's take a look at some of the strange Damn. messages allegedly being sent. Starting with evidence Chris may have been sharing feet Why pictures, feet with pics? a message reading, Buy my feet pics, with someone responding, That's illegal. And another user saying, Nasty feet, boy. There would also be evidence backing up underage users calling Chris dad with messages reading, Chris, are there any big boys in the chat? Nathan, <laughs> hi dad, yes. What's even- No, <laughs> big boys in the chat is- that's a crazy thing to say. More disturbing is Chris would ask a user to prove if she was a lolly, a term used for young what? girls in an erotic manner. Chris says she's a lolly, never proved it. I think not. With Chris later saying, FBI has joined the chat. If he thought this was bad, Chris would even go as far as sharing his personal Snapchat and referring to underage users in the server as quote lollies. With messages reading, my personal snap is Tyson N-O-S-Y-T, but I won't add anyone back who doesn't like anime. With another message reading, <laughs> lol, fuck? jealous lolly is jealous and that user replying stating i will literally blank your ass one can only wonder hey, what chris yo. was sending to these kids in private but even from what she posted in public it doesn't look good with more screenshots revealing chris role-playing inappropriately with minors reading uwu unzips blank as well as uwu what? licks blank and nuzzles pain chris also allegedly claimed to have posted nudes in the nsfw channel with a message reading just put my nudes in nsfw if this evidence wasn't enough what? i would create a thread on the 28th of July, going through some horrible moments I personally found in the archive, including one featuring Mr. Beast, with Chris stating, at tags, I have a crush on you. Another user replying stating, at Chris, I want your blank, with Chris replying, you can have it right now, as well as another message tagging Chris stating, how dare you assault my state, now get your holes ready, with Chris replying, calm your she blank down. There would also be another really weird message of Lava tagging Chris saying he has a massive blank. If this wasn't already some of the most disgusting screenshots you've seen, Chris was found allegedly linking Shadman's site featuring drawn CP directly to the server. This pattern of behavior would also be backed up two years later, with another screenshot quoting, refreshing Shadbase daily lol, which sets in stone just how degenerate Chris has been. In this next screenshot, Mr. Oh, okay, that's like, uh, uh, that's weird, bro. That's just weird behavior. This is like, but it's so crazy. Like, this happens all the time on Discord. Like, people who use Discord all day and, like, hop from, like, server to server, uh, like, this is this is what they do all day, bruh. They just talk like this, and it's, like, crazy, weird, just little edgy stuff. Like, 
It's crazy, bro. Mr. Beast would get crazy. involved with user discount milk stating, his blank isn't big enough. I'd know. With Mr. Beast replying, no, I know his blank size and it's huge. With another user stating, Mr. Beast, are you gay? That moment you deep throat a whole blank. With discount milk stating, I'll deep throat Chris's blank. With Chris replying, haha, Mr. Beast joins in to comment on my blank size. I love it. For those wondering if this was actually Mr. Beast and not an impersonator, not only would Nathan confirm that this was really him, but Twitter user doesn't matter would create a thread proving why this was Mr. Beast with evidence. Reading, a small thread on how this is 100% Mr. Beast and why the community note is incorrect. The account that posted this had its user ID leaked in the chat logs. The account had Chris's friend role. Keep in mind, user IDs never change, even after the name changes. With that info, you can look up the user ID on sites such as discordlookup.com, where this website tells you if the account is still active and has a new name. This account used to own the server before the account the community note mentions took over. This account also had his official accounts linked to it. Here's a screen recording of that. You cannot link accounts that you cannot log into. So now that we have established oh, that this was Mr. Beast involved, let's continue to look into the messages. I mean, I with didn't have any Chris reason to believe it was Indicating some him. sort of alleged attraction to 14 year olds. Chris, she is only 14. Damn with an attachment link. And another user stating, if she's 14, I'm 14. Not only did this server include a not safe for work channel, but Chris would also be seen asking if Gore should be allowed, stating, should Gore be allowed in NSFW or should it only be blank? It seems the depravity in Chris's <laughs> server got to a point done, where other done. users would refer to themselves as lolly gods. At Chris the meme god, lolly god is back. Chris would also state, I would love to be able to flip between genders whenever I wanted to. GG's. GG's. Everything else you could be like, oh yeah, nah, that was a joke. Like, uh, uh, like I was joking around, you know, you know how edgy teenagers be. And then he says this, and then he actually did it. GG. With there being over 500,000 messages leaked, these are just the tip of the iceberg. Following the leaks, user Lava, who previously came to Chris's defense, would post a tweet sharing his story, as well as calling out Chris's IRL friend, Disturbed Milk, who was seen in the screenshots heavily engaging inappropriately with minors, when Lava would quote, fight tooth and nail with Chris to get him banned. If things weren't bad enough for Chris already, on the 30th of July, Dramalert would post a tweet stating, Chris Tyson's leaked NSFW Discord channel logs are going to be released to the public soon. The previous leak did not include this channel, which is said to be the most damning. There are oh. allegations that miners had access to this channel. But things would take a turn for the worse, when Nathan would respond to Keemstar, stating he never had the NSFW leaks to begin with. Update, my last tweet about us having the NSFW log from Chris Tyson's server was incorrect. I misinterpreted and didn't properly validate the information I read before making my statement. I apologize for the confusion, it was not my intent to spread misinformation. Where Keemstar would respond to Using Nathan, the previous victim of Chris, of being paid off. In a tweet reading, he said he was dropping the Chris Tyson NSFW channel logs in a tweet and in an interview today. Now he's saying he doesn't have them. This don't smell right. Someone got paid off. This bold accusation. All right, now I do think he probably looked at the leaks himself and was like, "Yo, this is this is way bigger than you know what I'm saying." He probably did look at that shit like, but there is a chance that he probably just didn't have that part and he he had everything else but that i would assume if they're scrubbing the whole like the whole discord the nsfw channel has to get nuked completely like make sure there's nothing left like you know what i'm saying you got to do extensive checks make sure there are no traces of that shit in there to be honest, like if you're gonna do it, you gotta make me like, you know what I'm saying? ...would be met by a response from Nathan, stating, I don't think Mr. Beast would pay someone off after they already released hundreds of thousands of messages thoroughly proving their best friend slash co-star is a blank. Despite his response, True. Nathan would receive mass harassment from Keemstar's fans who were convinced he had been paid off by Mr. Beast. However, according to Nathan, the misinformation regarding the NSFW channel getting leaked was simply due to an error in communication. So I reached out to Nathan to verify these claims and get his side of the story. Hi, I'm Nathan, known as Brain Freak Online. Uh, I'm one of the people who helped leak Chris's Discord server. I wanted to give my statement about what happened on Sunday regarding the Chris Tyson NSFW logs that were announced to be released by myself and why they were never released. I had actually slept in the morning that I announced the NSFW logs. I was scheduled to be on a live podcast that morning and I was rushing to get into it. 
when I was checking my notifications, at which point I saw messages in a group chat I'm in with the people who downloaded the logs from Chris's server, as well as the people who were doing the tech side of things with the website. And they were talking about the NSFW channel. And they had sent a screenshot of it, but they were saying, if we have it, referencing the NSFW channel, not we have it. And I was skimming over the messages. I was completely exhausted. I had just woken up and I completely misinterpreted what these messages were saying. Then I later went on to genuinely believe we had the NSFW channel. However, I was completely mistaken. It was miscommunication on my part and I should have double checked my sources. I've been doing my best at being as transparent as possible and only bringing the truth to light about this situation. So I do apologize to anyone that I let down who thought this information was gonna come out. I wanna end this video off by saying I've never been paid by Mr. Beast and I never will be. I would never allow money to buy my silence, especially when it comes to a topic this serious. I wanna make that very clear. Along with the Discord Thanks, leaks, there would also be another I alleged victim who would come forward with extremely serious SA allegations. Something to note before we get into them is that the the account who made the statements, Muskina, is also one of the three accounts followed by Chris Tyson's private accounts, indicating that they are connected in some way. I was blank assaulted by Ava Tyson, and here is my story. For context, Ava and I are both adults and we met each other as adults. Ava followed me on Twitter in November of 2022, after seeing my transition timelines on Twitter when I had under 500 followers. We started messaging each other every day through Twitter. She confided in me that she thought my results from HRT were amazing, and that she was planning on getting HRT soon to transition herself. As someone who follows online culture, content, and streaming, I was overwhelmed by emotions with being trusted with this secret and information that I knew would be huge news. As a transgender woman who publicly transitioned a month earlier, I genuinely could not believe that something so amazing had happened to my life after I'd been through so much. Eventually, we talked about me potentially working for Mr. Beast, and she told me that she was sure she could get me in a video. She was the most what? famous person to ever show me that type of attention, and she immediately started love bombing me and making me feel like I'm the the most important person in her life. Within the first few weeks of us talking, she told me that she told her therapist about the positive impact I was making on her life and that she told her friends about me. She quickly moved our conversation to Snapchat. While I was under the impression that she was working on getting me in a video, we started having video chats on Discord. Ava asked me to blank with her on video call multiple times, and I what? always felt like I had to say yes if I wanted to be in a video or get a job. On one occasion, she asked me to join a video call and asked me to blank, even though she knew I wasn't feeling well, which led to me joining and puking after a few minutes. Our conversations always leaned in the direction of affectionate and blank, and she sent me a lot of blank explicit Snapchats, messages, photos, and videos. Our relationship was very confusing to me. I didn't fully realize I was being coerced at the time. She Yo, bro. Yo, gang. Yo, Chris was wildin', bro. Seeing the girl transition from guy to girl. And was like, oh, yeah, I'm doing the same thing. Ah, ah, like, yo, we got so much in common. Uh, yeah, just add me on Discord, though. Like, you know, I don't really be checking Twitter DMs that much. Yeah. Um, you, you free to, you free to answer a call on Discord? Because like, I don't really like texting that much. Yeah. Um, yeah, just go ahead and whip it out for me. <laughs> what? Like, bro, like, I mean, I'm assuming this happened over months and shit, but like, that's still just kind of crazy, bro. Like, I ain't gonna lie. Like, because he hit her with the... Yo, um, I can get you in the Mr. Beast video. Like, oh, shit, all right, cool. All right, now pull your dick out. Eventually flew me out to her home in Greenville with a one-way ticket while I was still under the impression that she would be getting me in a video with Mr. Beast. The first night at her house, she told me to sit up in her bedroom as I would be sleeping there with her. I thought that this was potentially... Yo, underrated, appreciate the follow, bro the beginning of a relationship. When we went to bed together that night, we ended up cuddling and kissing, which led to her taking her clothes off and asking for oral blank from me. I went down on her expecting to engage in blank that would be reciprocated, but when I was done, she made it clear that she did not want to return any blank favors to me. I was hoping that would not be the case next time we hooked up, and I believed we would be moving to something more mutual. Over the course of the next week, Ava engaged me blank and ended up receiving oral pleasure several times, but she never reciprocated any of the blank favors in return. When I was done, I was too scared to directly ask for anything in return and she took advantage of that. The day she first posted publicly that she was on HRT was also the first week I was there. After making her post, Jimmy called her later that Yo, I have no money or food. If I sleep, will the hunger go away? Um, is this a riddle? 
Uh, I'll go away for a little bit. At night, while Ava was receiving oral blank from me. I mean, water should be like, you know, water would be good enough. She answered the phone and had that conversation with Jimmy it'll, while I continued to perform you. oral on her. I was again given access to very Wait, private what? information, which made me feel special, something that happened consistently through our relationship. After almost a week, I was really starting to feel used and confused about Wait. everything. Consistently. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. She was giving this nigga head. And then Chris answered the phone, talking to Jimmy while getting head from another trip. Yo, what the fuck is going on? Through our relationship. After what almost a week, I was really starting to feel used and confused about everything. While I was there, I found out through a conversation between Ava, myself, and her friend that she did not have the ability to cast anyone in a Mr. Beast video. I eventually asked Ava to buy me a ticket home and flew home the next day. Leaving Ava's house was incredibly difficult to process emotionally after that week. I remember trying to hold myself together while traveling so that I wouldn't break down in public. When I got home, I spent the rest of the night crying uncontrollably without fully understanding what happened to me. Ava and I remained in contact but she did not show me the same level of attention and affection as she did before I spent a week with her. This was the first time we went through the cycle of her love bombing me, using me, falling for someone else, treating me like I'm an annoying jealous ex, then coming back to me when things didn't work out. Shortly after that first week, she went on a work trip to Japan and invited someone else, but things did not turn out the way she expected. She was upset and flew back early from her trip, and she also offered me a job as her assistant and offered me to move in with her. I quit my job that month and moved in with her on June 16th and began working fuck? that day. During this trial period and my employment, Ava continued to receive oral blank from me multiple times and I started to feel like I was being coerced. Because I started feeling that way, I decided to try and avoid any physical engagement between Ava and I that could lead to more one-sided blank acts. I took a short trip to my home state at the end of July and returned on July 28th. When I got back, I continued to do my best to avoid anything physically blank between Ava and I. On July 29th, we were watching TV together alone in her living room. With no warning, prior physical engagement, or blank conversation, she took her pants off and started touching herself in front of me. I had just moved in with Ava and left my job to come work as her assistant. In no way, shape, or form did I feel like I could say no without somehow risking my job or being asked to leave. She used that against me in order to receive non-consensual oral blank. This was the moment that truly broke me for the first time. Nothing was enjoyable, I felt it would never end, and my entire body just hurt from performing the act. It took me a few days to accept what happened. Unfortunately, I was dealing with all these emotions while on a work trip traveling the country and spending most of my time with people I had just met. The trip itself was very isolating as an employee and there were several times where I broke down crying and I spent the entire drive crying but trying to be as quiet as possible so that I didn't bother anyone. I then had to wait and board an overnight flight from Boston to Los Angeles and when I boarded the plane I decided to send Ava a message on Telegram sharing my concerns with her. I tried to do so carefully and navigate the- Bro it's so crazy cause like this shit sounds like a fanfic bro but this this is like real life, bruh. Yo, that's so fucking wild. Like, you're just fucking watching TV and shit with, you know, you're like, you're an assistant. They just hired you. Your boss just hired you and shit. You're watching TV in the living room, you know what I'm saying? Y'all chilling or whatever. Uh, all of a sudden, you look over and nigga pull his dick out. Start stroking the shit. You're like, you're like, yo, what the fuck? You gonna put that shit away, gang? Like, we trying to, like, what the fuck? conversation in a way that would stop me from being blank assaulted again but allow me to keep my job. Ava was very manipulative in her response and follow-up conversations we had in person once we'd got to our hotels. We agreed not to have blank anymore, if that's how I felt about what happened. The alleged victim would continue to document her side of the story, leading up to her being fired from her wait, wait, wait. we'd got to our hotel. Wait, okay, wait. They just said at the hotel for the I don't want to do anything sexual with each other. We started a professional relationship along with our friendship. That's a dynamic I can't misconstrue and it's unethical for me. I think I don't respect my body like the other person told me about me my body. Yeah. So I've asked you to stop, but it'll just kind of happen. Just let it. Yo, this. Yo. Yo. Nah, bro, this thing is... Yo, oh, hell nah. Hotels. We agreed not to have blank anymore, if that's how I felt. Uh, 
you're an important person to me. I want to be your friend at work. Relationship cause stress. Uh, focus on our friendship. I think someone to work with you. Your friendship really important to me. I was in. Uh, I was it's the dead name of misgendering that makes me feel like there's little respect for me as a human. What the fuck? We did continue to. Wait, we did not engage in explicitly sexual acts, but we did engage in physical acts, cuddling, groping. Sleeping in the same bed. About what happened. The alleged victim would continue to document her what side of the, the story, fuck? leading up to her being fired from her role and sending a complaint to HR regarding the SA, where Chris would find out and respond to her saying, wow, Jess, and blocking her. Something worth noting is that there didn't seem to be any conclusive evidence of SA taking place. And a lot of internet users have come to the conclusion that this statement sounds like it could be coming from a jaded ex who is sharing negative experiences of being involved in a one-sided relationship. That's, that is fair. That without is fair. established boundaries. So take from that what you will. Mr. Beast has also been getting exposed for a variety of unethical practices, of which I'll be posting a video on soon. Make sure you subscribe to stay in the loop. Okay. I low-key thought he was going to talk about that in this video too. Because this is mainly just about Chris. But this isn't bad though. This is The linked bad. messages from Chris's Discord server have exposed right, a shocking five, pattern of behavior you. that's... Okay, what am I not consistent though? Left us all wondering how this could even happen. From sharing explicit content to role playing with minors, the evidence is clear. Chris Tyson's actions are unacceptable and demand consequences. If you oh, haven't seen facts. my original video. Facts. Nigga, Chris is wild. It's a good video though, gang. Trying the trans community should not take priority over protecting minors. True. True, 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 true. Was a snowball turned into an avalanche? No, bro. Facts. One dollar lawyer versus million dollar lawyer. <laughs> Doesn't matter, Gadget. If you do own holy things against the winner, you should be condemned. True. Try not to laugh. Challenge impossible. Try not to take minors. Impossible. Not gonna lie, I did not have a lot of hope. It was gonna get better. 1924. I love kids. 2024. I love kids. <laughs> Cheapest lawyer versus most expensive lawyer. First one to get me out of this shit wins a million dollars featuring Saul Goodman. Jeez Louise, bruh. God dang, man. This shit is wrong. It just keep getting worse, bruh. Fuck. This shit just keep getting worse.